Hi there, my name is Kalyan Verma. In this video, I'm going to show you how uh, a list builder works in Excelsius. Uh, the list builder provides a way for users to build their own sets of data. So the list builder consists of a source list and a destination list containing the user selections and an update button. So users can move items between the source and destination lists in a number of ways. They can either drag and drop or they can double click or they can select a source item and then click the right arrow at the same time they can do the vice versa to get get it off the destination list once they update the list uh, of items they want to when they click update uh, you know the items in the destination list are inserted into the destination range to be displayed by another component in this case it's a line chart you can also change the order of selections in the destination list. You can drag and drop it onto the top or onto the bottom to change the order and click update. It changes your destination cells. So in this sample, uh, the user selects from a list of branches to see the yearly sales uh, for, for those branches. And the user builds a list of branches and then clicks the update button to see the selected data in the line chart. So let's go ahead and build this from scratch. So let's get out of the preview mode. Let's get rid of uh, the existing components and let's see the underlying data. So what I have here is the actual data sales by branch for five fiscal years and branches with dollar amounts. And I have uh, empty set with yellow color where we're gonna insert the data the selected data. So let's go ahead and uh, under selectors, find the list builder, drag and drop it onto the canvas, and let's see the properties. Under general, you can give it a title. Uh, what do you want to name the source? Let's say, uh, instead of source, I would like to name it as select a, so select a bra uh, select branches. And for destination, I would like to name it as selected branches. And the labels, nothing but the branch names. And do you want to change the button name to add and remove from update uh, to an, any other thing, you can always program it here. And what should be the insertion type? In our case, it's gonna be a row. Select the source data as the entire data set and the destination as the yellow cells, which we already marked on our Excel sheet. So we've just uh, binded all the necessary data from our list builder. Now we're gonna create a line chart under the charts, go select a line chart, drag and drop it onto the canvas, put it under the list builder, expand it a little bit, and we're gonna take the title and the subtitle off, and the series, we're gonna add all possible series, uh, because a user might select all the branches. So in such case, we need to be prepared with the worst case scenario where if the user selects all the branches and the values as the inserted values corresponding to that branch and the labels as the fiscal years. Similarly, add uh, other series. There are about six or seven series. and bind them to the individual cells. So I've just completed binding all the series to individual rows. Let's go ahead and preview and see what happens. So I can select, double click, drag and drop, or select and click to add it to the destination. I can change the order, click on update. I see my chart updating. Change the order again, update remove a, uh, a branch update. So you can use the list builder 
uh, you know, it provides a way for the users to build their own sets of data. Thanks for watching.